INRI uh, has celebrated 50 years uh, globally, but here in Southeast Asia, uh, we, uh, we have celebrated about 20 or 25 years in this region. And uh, we organize this in Vietnam together with our partner, our key partners, the Vietnam Ministry of Agriculture and Rural uh, Development. So we are very happy to observe a uh, growth of INRI uh, portfolio in Southeast Asia, in particular in Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Philippines, Indonesia, also China and some other countries. And uh, our work for the last two decades here in the, uh, in the region uh, really focuses um, on a few areas uh, that uh, is needed uh, for livestock development in Southeast Asia. Uh, for example, we work on uh, livestock genetics, improving different breeds, achieving uh, higher productivity in different countries. We work on feed and uh, forest, which is very important for livestock development. And recently, uh, the research under the One Health approach uh, has uh, uh, rapidly uh, uh, developed uh, in different countries. For example, we focus on the understanding of zoonotic diseases between animal, people, and the environment, uh, and also coming up with solutions to reduce the risk of this interface. Uh, the, another area is of uh, uh, One Health is about food safety, so foodborne diseases cause a lot of uh, health and economic impact. You could imagine that more than 100 billion US dollars lost per year uh, uh, by foodborne diseases, and for that we try to understand the risk when people eat unsafe food and coming up with solutions how to improve hygiene practices at uh, the traditional market in Vietnam, in Cambodia, where most of people uh, have access to food in that areas. Uh, we are uh, working more and more on the antimicrobial -micro resistance because uh, a lot of antibiotics can be used for livestock and aquaculture production. So we try to understand why farmers use too much or too little and also coming up with solutions to uh, uh, have farmers to have a rational use leading to the reduction of uh, AMR uh, in people, animal, and the environment. So it's very interesting to uh, observe the discussion uh, during this celebration. Our partners from Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, the Philippines, and other countries really advise Vietnam to strengthen the partnership with this region because that is a very rapidly developed uh, uh, region in livestock and actually moving on so uh, on uh, from research for the smallholder livestock to a medium and large scale. That is really uh, happening here in that region. We observe also some of the achievement in terms of capacity building and training uh, for people from the government, from research institutions and the community. community. Uh, it's very nice to see many PhD students trained through INRI projects and, and also to see how INRI work with other CG centers in Vietnam and in the region to help uh, to support the country to develop national action plan on food system transformation and so on. So the spirit of one CG uh, across center collaboration is also very strong at the moment uh, in, in that region. Uh, the last point I want to mention is in fact during this celebration of 50 years of INRI, we uh, are launching also the new uh, 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 corporate strategy of INRI for the period of 2024, 2030. And for this uh, new uh, period of work, we really want to achieve to change uh, up to 300 million lives through livestock, and we do this by actually generating good evidence on research, on intervention, but in the same time, how to influence the policy of the country and investment uh, to develop more uh, uh, livestock in uh, different countries. And all this work has to be done through partnerships with country, with research institutions, with NAS, with investor, with private sector and community. So that is very clear uh, for us. So if I look back, uh, uh, the, at the last celebration of INRI at 40, uh, when we were in Hanoi, I think that for the last um, 10 years, we, we, we have actually grown in terms of numbers, but in terms of so impact and, and outcome. Uh, for example, the regional office growing more here in Hanoi, uh, having more projects through CGIR project and only also bilateral funding. And this is very positive, and we look forward uh, to more uh, development in that region for International Livestock Research Institute.